Today we're going to talk about variables, expressions, and properties. The first thing we're going to do is evaluate each expression. When you evaluate each expression, you're going to use PEMDAS, Order of Operations. When using Order of Operations, it stands for parentheses or brackets, the E stands for exponents, the M stands for multiplication, the D stands for division, the A stands for addition, and the S stands for subtraction. You're going to do all parentheses and then exponents and then all multiplication from left to right and then all PEMDAS, no, I'm sorry, not PEMDAS, then all addition and subtraction from left to right. Let's go ahead and solve. Just a quick note, the word evaluate means to solve. So anytime you, they're not going to tell you to solve anymore, they're going to tell you to evaluate. In order to do this, we must substitute the given numbers in for our variables. The reason we use variables is so we can substitute any number we want. When they ask us to evaluate it, we, they give us the numbers they want us to substitute. So let's go ahead and substitute. 6 times... They tell us the x is 7 minus the y is 4 squared. Uh, according to order of operations, we solve inside our parentheses first, which would be 7 minus 4. We rewrite the problem. 7 minus 4 is 3 squared. Now we have to solve e, or exponents, which means 6 times 3 to the squared means 3 times 3, or 9, so it's 6 times 9, and 6 times 9 is 54. Let's go on to the next one. g squared minus 2g minus 4, and they tell us that g equals 5. So I have 5 squared minus 2 times 5 minus 4. The only set of parentheses I have is through multiplication. 2 times 5, uh, in this case it is used to indicate multiplication. There's nothing inside other than a number, so I don't have to solve parentheses. So I go on to my exponents. 5 squared means 5 times 5, or 25, minus 2 times 5 is 10, minus 4. Notice I solved my exponents, and then I solved my multiplication. Now I have subtraction, and I'm going to move left to right. 25 minus 10 is 15. Bring down the 4. And 15 minus 4 is 11. Let's go ahead and do another one. There we go. In all of these three problems, they tell us that C equals 3 and D equals 7. So anywhere I see a C, I'm going to substitute a 3. And anywhere I see a D, I'm going to substitute a 7. My first problem, 6C plus 4 minus 3 times D. So I have 6. In for C is my 3. Plus 4 minus 3 and they tell me to plug in a 7 where I see a D. Once again, using order of operation. Okay. I have parentheses, but there's nothing in there to solve. So I move on to exponents. Do I have exponents? No. I do have multiplication, and I need to solve my multiplication left to right. I have 6 times 3 and I have 3 times 7, so that's why I'm going to go ahead and solve. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 4 minus, and 3 times 7 
is 21. Now I'm going to solve all addition and subtraction. I'm going to put brackets around the first problem I'm going to solve just to show you. 18 plus 4 is 22 minus 21 and 22 minus 21 is 1. I always like to put a box around my answer. Okay, the next one, number four. Four times the square of D minus C plus one. I'm going to highlight what I'm going to solve first, and that's inside my parentheses. I need to substitute four times my D is seven minus my C is three squared plus 1. So I'm going to solve 7 minus 3 first. Rewriting my problem, 4 times 7 minus 3 is 4 squared plus 1. Now I'm going to solve my exponent. Four times 4 squared means 4 times 4, and 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1. And 16 times 4 is 64, plus 1. Notice I solved my multiplication, and now I'm going to solve my addition. And 64 plus 1 is 65. On to the next one d squared plus 5 times d minus 6. Notice there's no operation here. There's no parentheses. They're just kind of squished together. So I assume it's multiplication. So d squared, which is 7 squared plus 5 times 7 minus 6. According to PEMDAS, I'm going to solve, I don't have any parentheses to solve, so I move on to my exponents. And 7 squared, which means 7 times 7, and 7 times 7 is 49, plus 5 times 7 minus 6. Now I'm going to solve all multiplication and division from left to right. There's no division, just multiplication. So I'm going to rewrite my problem. 49 plus 5 times 7 is 35 minus 6. Moving left to right, I'm going to solve 49 plus 35 first. And 49 plus 35 is 84 minus 6. And 84 Minus 6 is 78. There you go. I want to point out we've solved or evaluated all these expressions. Uh, the difference between an expression and an equation is the expression does not have an equal sign. We are not balancing two sides. We're just simply solving when substituting in a number. Okay?